Hi guys, it's Lori. Today is Vlogist Day 7. So yesterday, my video started out with Hayden going to the ice cream truck. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I actually think the ice cream truck is kind of creepy. I don't know, a creepy ice cream truck. It's just creepy. But honestly, when my kids were little, and even with Hayden too, for as long as I could get away with it, I told them that that was the music truck. So they quickly realized that, hey, people are getting ice cream out of this truck. But yeah, for as long as I could get away with it, that was the music truck. So, and then if you have ever watched Shameless, I binge watched Shameless. I've seen all of Shameless. You know where I'm going with this if you've seen Shameless. The ice cream truck. <laughs> so do you guys watch Chubby Girl Gone? Because if you're not subscribed to her channel, you really should be. Um, she's not doing Vlogist, but I feel like she's still involved in Vlogist because she's still watching everybody and she's subscribed to all these new people that are doing it. She looked at all the links and stuff and she's, she's like participating by doing that. And she's all, you know, she was really excited about it at the beginning too. She just doesn't have time right now to actually participate in it. She's got a lot going on. But anyway, um, she sets weekly goals. And so I thought, you know, that's really inspiring because I should really be setting some goals here because I've been wanting to take off the eight pounds that I put back on, like from, from springtime, I put on about eight pounds. And just because I was eating really bad, like just, I've well. just been eating things that I know I shouldn't because they don't do me well. So anyway, um, it's really hard once you start doing that to get back on track again. At least it is for me. And I mean, I've been back on track and then I'll go off and eat something that I know triggers me. And the next thing you know, I'm like eating all this stuff I shouldn't. And then I get, I keep going back and forth with it, you know, doing really good for a few days. And then I eat something that triggers me. It's like, ah, uh, okay. So I'm not sure if you can really call this a goal. I guess it kind of is because my goal is to take off the eight pounds that I put on and my main goal is really to reset my mind up here <laughs> because sometimes I just need to do that so I'm gonna do a little cleanup um, I'm gonna do a 10 day cleanup round of HCG there's gonna be people that don't agree with that because it's not it's not typical protocol so to do that so if you've never tried the HCG protocol and you're interested in it follow it to a T when you if you do a round of that you, you want to follow it to a T do it the way it's supposed to be done Debbie I know you're gonna to want to yell at me for this you can go ahead and yell at me I'm ready for it but I'm just gonna do a quick little 10 day round and see what happens so what I did was for those of you who don't know about the HC, HCG protocol you fat load for two days before you start the protocol I know that sounds stupid but that's how it works that's what you do I didn't like go overboard with loading over the weekend but I did inject Saturday and Sunday and I did eat some things that I was craving I ate a whole bunch of like peanut butter and sausage and ham and I mean I'm not gonna tell you every single thing I ate but I, I ate quite a bit of fat more than I would have normally and I did eat actually quite a bit of carbs too because I got in some things that I've been craving so because of that I know that I'm gonna have a headache for at least two or three days probably gonna start setting in tonight and that's just how it works I know I know that it makes you, when you load like that, it makes you retain water. And um, I'm up two pounds from the weekend. I'm at 143 right now. So I gained two pounds over the weekend and I know that that'll come right back off in the next couple of days. I didn't weigh myself. Did I weigh myself this morning? Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I did. It was yesterday I didn't weigh myself. But I'm up two pounds from Saturday, so. Anyway, I wasn't 
honestly and truly, I wasn't going to mention this on my vlogs. I wasn't going to tell you guys about it because because there's people that are watching that have never done the HCG protocol before. And I don't want you to think that this is how it's done because it's really kind of not because you're supposed to do it for a minimum of, minimum of 21 days. So in a maximum of 40, but a lot of people do it longer than 40. Um, I don't know how, but they do. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to be eating super, super clean for the next more than 10 days because after the 10 days of injections, you still have 72 hours. It's a transition period to get the HCG out of your system. And for 72 hours, you still eat the protocol foods. So yeah, um, I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on with that. But during Vlogus, that is not going to be my main focus. I just, I don't know. It was just something I've been thinking about doing for like a couple months now. And I just decided to do it like late last week. I talked to John about it and I just decided I'm going to do it because I really just want to get back to a weight where I feel really comfortable and mainly reset my mind. So, and I know this will do it. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but like I said, I'm not going to I'm not going to make that my main focal point of vlogist videos. So, if anybody has any questions, you can ask me and I will answer. But like I said, I'm not going to make it the main focus. So, all right. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See ya.